हेलो एवरी वन आई एम मिसेस रुशाली चौधरी लेक्चरर प्रवीण पाटिल पॉलिटेक्निक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अप्लाइड साइंस केमिस्ट्री सब्जेक्ट कोड ट्रिपल टू वन वन फॉर द इलेक्ट्रिकल ब्रांचेस इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न मेटल्स अलॉय इंसुलेट इन अ प्रीवियस पी पी टी वी लर्न डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मेटल्स एंड देयर प्रॉपर्टी विच इज़ यूज फॉर द मेकिंग मशीनरीज फॉर द इंजीनियरिंग फील्ड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न डिफरेंट एंड अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ थर्मोकपल डिड यू हर्ड दिस वर्ड वॉट इज मीनिंग ऑफ द थर्मोकपल अ थर्मोकपल इज अ डिवाइस यूज एक्सटेंसिवली फॉर मेजरिंग अ टेम्परेचर जस्ट लाइक अ थर्मामीटर इन दैट वी आर पोरिंग और पुटिंग मर्क्यूरी बल्ब इन साइड अ लिक्विड और टूवर्ड्स अवर बॉडी देन इट सेंड्स अ टेम्परेचर बट इन अ थर्मोकपल वी आर यूजिंग टू मेटालिक वायर्स दैट इज गोइंग टू मेजर द टेम्परेचर इट इज यूज एज अ सेंसर इट कम्पोज ऑफ टू मेटल वायर्स फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट मेटल और टू डिफरेंट मेटल और अलॉय The wire legs or the two wires are welded together at the both ends, creating two junctions. One junction is connected to the body, whose temperature is to be measured, and that is the hot junction. That is the this junction where we are going to measure the temperature, and another junction is called as a cold junction. which is connected to the body of known temperature in this we are going to learn if there are two different metals are there their thermal conductivity that is temperature carrying capacity is different so here we are using a wire type a and wire type b when it is joining at a hot junction and we are heating by using a candle another junction is called as a cold junction which is connected to a voltmeter so uh, wire a which is a good conductor carries temperature easily while b is a less conductor of heat and electricity so less conductive it is possible and whatever the difference in the temperature that is measured in a thermocouple accordingly we will sense how much temperature of the hot junction is there it is used for the measuring temperature of the different material the thermocouple measures unknown temperature of the body with reference to the known temperature of the other body whatever the voltage develop or the major that is a proportional to the temperature difference if there is a lot of temperature difference it is going to produce higher voltage there are many types of thermocouples we are going to use in our industry depending upon their temperature range durability resistance to corrosion oxidation chemicals and sulfur etc and application and compatibility thermocouples are named as t thermocouple j e k n s b depending upon what are the two different metal wires used take a example if we are talking about the thermocouple t it is having a copper and constantium it is made up of two metals one is a copper another one is a constantium it is Uh, having a plug of blue color temperature range is it is able to sense temperature minus 300 to 700 fahrenheit thermocouple j it is made up of iron and constant plug is black sense uh, temperature range is 32 to 1400 fahrenheit thermocouple e chromil and constant having a temperature 32 to 1600 fahrenheit depending upon which metals we are using for making a thermocouple accordingly their application sensitivity and the temperature range is going to change so according to application we are choosing a particular thermocouple 
The most common type of thermocouples are type J, K, T and E. They are also known as base metal thermocouples. Type R, S, B are called as a noble metal thermocouples used in a high temperature application. Means where the high temperature is there, that time we are using R, S, B thermocouple. Low temperature, normal temperature, we are using J, K, T, E thermocouple. Thermocouples are used in many scientific and industrial applications like power generation, making a cement, paper industry, pulp industry, biotech and the pharmaceutical just like preparing or manufacturing of any medicine. That time we have to maintain the temperature or we have to sense hold particular temperature. That time we are using a thermocouple. It is also used in a domestic appliances like a stoves, oven and a toaster. Like the uh, oven and a toaster which is automatically cut down after the particular temperature reach. That phenomena is observed due to presence of thermocouple. Application of thermocouple, it is used in a plastic injection molding machineries plastic equipment we are using and that is created or manufacturing by the molding machineries that time we have to maintain the temperature of plastic food processing equipment semiconductor processing heat treating medical equipment industrial heat treating and packaging equipment that process manufacture which to be monitored at a particular temperature that time thermocouple is required to sense the temperature nickel alloy thermocouples it is made up of nickel alloy composition one is nickel 90 percent chromium is 10 percent characteristic it can be used up to 1100 degrees celsius in a oxidizing atmosphere it is having a good an excellent temperature resistance and a corrosion oxidation resistance. Chromium is a constant alloy, alloy of copper and nickel. Forms type E thermocouple. It is used to make a positive conductors for type E chromium constituent. Nichrome is a type of chromium alloy which is having 80% of nickel and 20% of chromium used for heating equipment. Chromium is also used for making electrical resistors and wires. <coughs> Next one is aluminum. It is a nickel alloy having along with the aluminum. Composition is nickel 95% aluminum 2%, manganese 2%, silicon 1%. It is stable up to 1399 degree Celsius. The magnetic alloy of nickel. It is having a good machinability and can be welded using conventional metal. Welding is possible and we can cut down as it is having a good machinability. It is used for making a type K thermocouple, which is used often used with a chromium. It is also used for making thermocouple extension wire. Constantinum. It is a nickel copper alloy known as Eureka in advance. Composition is nickel 60%, copper 40%. Characteristic. It has a number of special characteristics. As the melting point is 1225 to 1300, high specific heat resistance, resistance to the atmospheric corrosion, and it can be soldered and it can be molded. It is used for the formation of thermocouple along with a wire of other metals like a copper, iron, chromium. It is used in appliances like 
where the electrical resistance should remain a constant for a particular range of temperature. It is also used in an electrical resistance wire. With the copper, it makes type D thermocouple. Platinum rhodium alloy thermocouple. It is used in a type SRB thermocouples, which is having a noble metal thermocouples due to their ability to withstand high temperature while maintaining the accuracy and lifespan. They are having a noble metals. They are more expensive as the base platinum and rhodium, also costly metals. Type S thermocouple. In this thermocouple, one conductor wire is an alloy of platinum and rhodium, and the other wire is made up of 100% pure platinum. Type R. The thermocouple in which Conductor wire is made up of 87% platinum, 13% rhodium, while the other wire is 100% pure platinum. Type B thermocouple. It is having a one conducting wire, platinum 70%, rhodium 30%, while other leg is made up of platinum, rhodium alloy 94 to 6% respectively. This alloy, the platinum rhodium thermocouple, is stable at a high temperature up to 1700 degrees Celsius. It is having very high accuracy as well as stability at very high temperature. As the percentage of rhodium increases, cost also increases. The type B thermocouple produces the same output at 0 degree and 42 degree Celsius, limiting their use below 50 degree Celsius. Precious metal thermocouples are susceptible to, to contamination. Hence, it is strongly recommended to surround with the ceramic material. It is used in a biotech and pharmaceutical industry where one te degree temperature also changes the property of chemicals or your medicine. That time we are using this more accurate and more costly alloy as they are having a high accuracy as well as the stability. Another one is a tungsten rhenium alloy. Tungsten is having a very high melting point while alloy element rhenium imparts strength and ductility to tungsten. Even the tungsten is the hardest and the toughest metal. It is having a low ductility, difficult to convert the wire. But when we are adding a rhenium, when we are making an alloy, their ductility is increases. The characteristics of the IPC thermocouple are, it is suitable for temperature range of 10 degree Celsius to 2320 degree Celsius. So temperature range stability is higher. Having a better hardness and improved ductility. High temperature resistance. It cannot be used above 260 degree in the presence of oxidation. It may undergo oxidation above the temperature. These are used in a vacuum furnaces at an extremely high temperature. In presence of oxygen, it will undergo oxidation and corrosion. Therefore, we are applying using these in a vacuum furnaces at very high temperature. These are recommended for the heat treatment industries and for making of cathode filaments, x-ray tube, welding tubes and rocket components where very high temperature is there in absence of oxygen. Chromel gold and iron thermocouple. Chromel gold and iron thermocouple alloy where positive wire is chromel, mixture of nickel and chromium while negative wire is gold with a small fraction of iron. The impure gold wire gives 
thermocouple high sensitivity at a low temperature whereas chromium wire maintains the sensitivity at a room temperature both sensitivity and the temperature range depend on the concentration of iron such thermocouples are used in cryogenic study of the production and behavior of material at very low temperature applications thank you so much for your attention if you have any question you can mail me on the prp rushali.fi@gmail.com thank you